What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. We're back with a requested video today. People asking me how to get multiple versions of Beckenbauer and I'm also going to answer why you might want multiple versions of Beckenbauer, right? The, the, the biggest key to this card is because it's free and because you're going to be getting multiple free spins that if you spin for Beckenbauer you will be able to reset the pack and get a second version of the same card. It's free and you can train up two different cards, right? The same player, the same card, but trained very differently. One is a CB, one is a DMF. We'll show you that towards the end of the video, right? Because we're going to be getting 70 plus spins that are free from simply logging in and completing the campaign objectives throughout the next couple of weeks, this will be a good chance for you to get two beastly cards. You might be able to release the card and get a load of GP, or else you can train up and have two different versions of the same card, right? I've already covered a video on how to clear the campaign objectives the quickest and easiest way of doing it. If you want to check out that video, you can. We also have a video of the two builds in depth as well with some gameplay. If you want to check that out, you can as well. But these all, all of these objectives, they're all covered in the other video. For this one, you might be asking yourself, why would you spin for Beckenbauer when you already have the agent cleared? Well, once you have the main players got, right? So if we spin for Rashford, we spin for Modric, we spin for Davies, we spin for Beckenbauer... The rest of the players in this 50 player box, right, this Beckenbauer spin box, they're pretty much going to be just like GP fodder, like you're not going to be using them. You've got Suarez in there, you've got a couple of other players like Otamendi and players like that, but once you essentially have got your best picks out of it, you can then turn your attention to having two cards that are the same card but trained very differently, as I've already mentioned in the intro. Beckenbauer is definitely one of the most unique cards in the game. A lot of people giving him a lot of hate, but honestly, I have really struggled against Beckenbauer and Costa Corta for free players, right? And as you see here, once we have this box cleared, the rest of the players are going to be standard GP players that are not worth wasting free spins on. So once you have the four main spin, or say you're not really interested in Rashford and Rashford is unspinned and you haven't got him, you can just reset the box here. And simply when you reset the box, you do not get your spins back. You literally don't get anything but a fresh chance at spinning the same cards again, right? You don't get your spins back, you don't get any of your GP or XP or coins back if you spin for this with a coin agent or anything, it goes for the same with everything, you reset any box. But because you're resetting this, you do keep your free spins. And once you reset it, you are going to be now have the limited draw back at 50. So you can re-spin for Rashford, Davies, Beckenbauer, Modric, who we've already cleared. When you do now spin, you will use all your remaining ones to continue to spin for this. Any that you earn will go through the new box. So if you already have Beckenbauer trained as a CB, you can now work your way along and you can try and get Beckenbauer again to turn him into a DMF. We pull Rashford again here. That means now that we can train Rashford as a left winger or we can train him as a CF or we can train him in a different way. And you can continue to work through this. Now, as I said, I already have the main reason for doing this is to have two different builds of the same card, right? This is a CB build for Beckenbauer, which is a possession-based player that plays out from the back. And also you can do a DMF style build as well to have more of a central figure there if you are struggling a little bit to kind of stop the ball going through uh, in the center of your midfield, either center back or center midfield. I actually really like Beckenbauer, definitely think for a free card, he's an absolute beast. But that is two different uh, builds that you're going to see there. So what you can do is you can basically train up the cards as much as you possibly can. I have videos on how to train up XP extremely quickly if you're struggling with XP to train that. And then you can have a different choice in what you want to do based on your formation, based on your manager, based on your tactics. You can have Beckenbauer as an outright CB, as you see here, 101 overall. Or, of course, you can have different variety with him coming along the lines, right? Whether you want to play him in a double pivot in midfield, you want to play him as a back three, you want to play him as a back five, you want to play him as a different way, right? So I think that that's probably the main thing. But as I said, it's all about resetting the box and then giving yourself the option whether you want to keep him as a CB or you want to keep him as a DMF. So that is it for me, lads. As I said, once you spin for the chosen player that you want, you can reset the box and continue to put those free spins towards a second version of Beckenbauer. And even failing at that, if you were to release Beckenbauer, you will see on screen here, a fully trained up Beckenbauer is going to net you this GP and XP and of course your contract back as well. It's free, so you might as well do it instead of wasting your free spins on GP players. If you liked the video, lads, don't forget to subscribe. We'll be back soon. Talk to you then. Peace.